If you plan to make videos showcasing apps or featuring a website, a good screen recording is by far the most engaging way to walk people through the various tools and features. On this channel, we not only use screen recording to feature our own products, but also show creators how to use other important tools and websites. You can just turn on your microphone, record your screen, and show people how to use an app or a website in real time, but many of our viewers have expressed how much they appreciate our more concise, deliberate approach. In this video, I'm going to break down our process for making polished and easy to follow app and website tutorials. Let's get into it. Hello creators, I'm Ben Tolson from Podia, where we empower creators like you to make a living doing what you love. When demonstrating how to use an app or a website, it's important to find a good balance between showing the tools and features and honoring people's time and attention. To achieve that balance, we follow a five-stage process. Determine the result, write a script, optimize recording resolution, perform walkthrough, edit for effectiveness. Stage one, determine the result. This is the most important step when it comes to honoring our viewers' time and attention because it helps us define what we will and won't feature in our tutorial based on what our viewer needs. For this stage, answer these three questions. Who is this for? What are they trying to do? How would they use this app or website to do it? When you know the answers to these questions, it makes it easier to make decisions about which features you'll focus on, which ones you'll ignore, and how specific you'll need to be in your instructions. Stage two, write a script. I highly recommend writing out the instructions you plan to walk people through in your screen recording. Not only will this help you be more concise, but in the script writing process, you might discover details that you might have accidentally glossed over or taken for granted that would have been important for your viewer. As I'm writing a script, I'll keep the website or application open and go through each of the steps myself as I write to make sure I don't miss anything. While you can record during this process, I suggest waiting until the script is complete and I'll explain why in a moment. As you write your script, you'll want to strike the right balance when it comes to how specific your instructions are. That's one of the reasons the previous stage is so important because knowing who you're writing instructions for can give you cues as to how in depth certain things might need to be explained. If you're not sure of the technical knowledge of your audience, it's best to assume average technical savvy with more of your focus going into the details of the app or website and less focus on the everyday tools people use like internet browsers or file systems. Stage three, optimize recording resolution. If your screen recording tool allows you to set the resolution, try to set it at double your video size. For example, if your video is going to be 1920 by 1080, set your resolution to 3840 by 2160. If you can't set it that high, set it as high as you possibly can. In my editing software, this allows me to zoom in and out of different parts of the screen recording without losing any of the quality. But video quality is not the only thing to optimize. It's also important to consider how your website or application is displayed and framed within the screen recording. For example, if you're using a web browser, you might frame it so the bookmarks bar and address bar are not showing. You might also increase or decrease the size of the elements on the page by clicking Command or Control plus or minus in your browser so that the elements are an appropriate distance from one another and are displaying correctly. In your app, you might resize certain windows or frames to make sure nothing is too big or small or distracting in some way. And of course, it's always a good idea to double check and make sure you're not displaying yours or anyone else's sensitive information in the screen recording. Stage four, perform walkthrough. I use the word perform intentionally here because that's actually what you're doing. When you perform a screen recording, you're more intentional about how you move your mouse, where you click, and the order in which you walk your viewer through the app or website. A good screen recording performance helps your viewer focus on the right things and keeps them from becoming distracted. Here are a few tips to keep in mind when performing your screen recording. Move your cursor a bit slower and more deliberately than normal. Avoid extra mouse clicks. Take your time inputting text. You can always speed this up later. It's okay to record in takes. After all, this is a performance. Stage five, edit for effectiveness. Even with a concise script and well-performed screen recording, we can still improve our viewer's experience in the editing process. When it comes to editing for effectiveness, we're going to consider two things, the pace of the instructions and where we're directing our viewer's attention. Finding a good pace can be accomplished using the following methods slow down or speed up footage to match the pace of the voiceover. Add or remove silence to avoid dead space and help your viewer keep up. Add a frame hold for screenshots that need to remain static while you explain something. 
use transitions to skip page loads or to denote a new section of instructions. Now to direct your viewer's attention, use these methods. Zoom in on sections or elements the viewer should interact with. Highlight specific sections for your viewer. I do this by adding a clear shape with a red or white outline. As you can see, this is a pretty involved process, and while there are simpler ways to create app and website tutorials, your viewers will thank you for following a more deliberate process that teaches them what they need to know while respecting their time and attention. What are some of the tools and techniques you use for creating screen recording tutorials? Let me know below in the comments. If you found this video helpful and you want more content like this, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be sure not to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.